Hey everyone, so we're back with another video, another One Finger video. This is all songs that you requested. So if there's a song that you want that's not on this list, definitely leave a comment below. In the description, there's times for every single song. So you don't have to go searching through, just click the time and it will take you to the video. That's also the first comment pinned at the top. If there's another song that you want to learn, definitely leave a comment below. But remember, try with one finger, then two, then try and play full chords, bar chords, but just have fun with your instrument and learn as many songs as you can. All right, here we go. So the first song I was playing in the intro there was by James Bay, it's called Let It Go. So you come in with your first finger, play on the sixth fret there, you play three times. Then go all the way up to the eleventh fret, same string, then you play once, and then four times. So let's start again, one, two, three, four times. That's it. Then go back to the 6th fret, play it 3 times, 4th fret twice, then 7th fret, and 6th fret. So that whole thing together. Now as you can just see, I used my pinky and my 3rd finger, but you can play that with your 1st finger if you want. But here we go, if you were playing it with all of your different fingers, so you play 1st finger, then first finger again. Then you can play first finger. Then first finger. Pinky. Third finger. Just a little bit easier there. Great job, next one. So next one is Linkin Park Crawling. It's that little sort of piano synthy sort of motif before the raging, amazingly huge uh, wall of guitar comes in. Every time I listen to the song, you, know, you hear this eerie intro and then the guitar is just like, whoa, it's, it's mixed so well. It always, and it always gets me excited that it's an electric guitar. All right, so dive on in. So we want our first finger here. This is a little bit tricky to do with one finger, so I'll show you two in a second. So have your first finger on the third string, sixth fret. Then move up to the seventh fret where you drop down all the way to the first string. Then go same string back to the fourth fret. So do that again. Then seventh fret on the second string. 5th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, nice and slow, now I would suggest playing with your 1st finger, then your 2nd, then your 1st, then your pinky, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, just makes a bit more sense to me. Raging guitar. Great job. Such a great riff. So much fun. Herbie Hancock's Chameleon, and you get to use all of your fingers by the end. So come in with your first finger here on the third fret, the sixth string, and you play the third fret, the fourth fret, the fifth fret, and the sixth fret. Then you jump down two strings and play the sixth fret, and then the eighth fret. So that's the first half of the riff. Second half of the riff, start on the third fret of the fifth string. Play third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret, and then sixth fret, and then play the third fret on the third string, and the second fret on the second string. Put them both together. But really, try and use all of your fingers for this one. So first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, then first and third, then all of your fingers, first and first. Such a great riff. If you haven't heard the song before, Herbie Hancock's Chameleon. And that's one of the main riffs of the song. Now I highly recommend you check out the rest of Herbie Hancock's Chameleon. Search for it here on YouTube. There's some really cool melodies. Bit rusty with that one, but it's so much fun. If you want me to teach you the whole thing, definitely leave a comment below. Next song.
All right, so the next song is Smashing Pumpkins to Psalm. Such a great song. We're gonna check it out with one finger, then I'll show you the full chords. Highly recommend you learn the full chords. It's such a brilliant song. Coming in with your first finger here on the second fret of the fifth string, you're gonna play that eight times. Then move up a fret, same string, eight times. Then jump up a string, play that eight times. Same string, move back a fret, play that four times. And then the little tail bass line at the end, third fret, second fret. So that's it, when you play it nice and fast. That's the main sort of melody if you were playing a bass line with your first finger. Let's show in the full chord. So you want to have your first finger like this, your second finger underneath it, your third finger over here, and your fourth finger on the third fret there on the first string. If you can't play that, that is absolutely fine. Just try and get the two fingers and just play the inside three strings. But really try if you can. Once you've got that, so that's the first chord, you play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then move your second finger up to the third fret on the fifth string and your first finger onto the second fret where it was on the fourth string. Play that eight times. Then move your first two fingers up a string eight times. Then take your second finger off completely. Use your first finger up a string onto the second fret of the sixth string. Play that four times. And then you can put your third finger up and you can either just play third fret 2nd fret, or you can play the chord. Up to you. Great job! The next one is One Republic's Counting Stars. Come in with your first finger here on the 4th fret. You can play it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to the seventh fret, eight times. Jump up a string. Then fifth fret. Now that would be it if you were just playing with one finger, but if you want to challenge yourself, make a power chord, so you're on the fourth fret, and then make a power chord below. Then you want to play that eight times. For something a little bit different, make that power chord shape again, but this time pick each string. So pick the fifth string, then the fourth string. Still playing eight notes, you're just separating it. Then go up to the seventh fret. Up a string. Back two frets. So maybe during the verse you just wanna strum. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three. Four. You want to build up? Or you want to add this into the mix? Have a listen to the song, you can decide what's best. The next one is Geronimo by Shepard, such a massive hit. So coming here, I'm going to show you how to use one finger method. So come in with your first finger on the third fret, so you're going to play that eight times, six string. Then you're going to drop down, and you put your first finger on the second fret, the fourth string. You can play the fifth string open as well, play that eight times as well. Move your first finger up a string, play the sixth string open and the fifth string, play that four times. Then go to the third fret and only play the third fret four times. And then jump up a string and play that eight times. But I highly recommend using two fingers. So if you're using two fingers, you would put your second finger on the third fret of the sixth string and your first finger on the second fret there. And you play that eight times. Drop down a string. Same as before, up a string. One, two, three, four. Then use your second finger on the third fret and your first finger down a string. Up a string eight times. Great 
great job. Next one was such a massive hit for Sam Smith. I know I'm not the only one. Coming here with your first finger, you play the first fret and the sixth string three times. Fifth fret twice. You drop down, fifth fret, first fret. So what that sounds like. You play that three times. Last time. Then the last part, you play the first fret three times. Third fret, fifth string twice. Then jump back up to the first fret and the sixth string. And the last part again. If you want to play it as power chords, add in some muted strikes, that's even better. That's it. Next song is Nirvana's Come As You Are. Now we're going to play it in standard tuning, but if you want to try drop D tuning like the record, just think that every time I play the 10th fret, it would actually be the open D string. So we're playing it a little bit higher there, but just to show you that you can play it in standard tuning. So let's check that out. So coming in with your first finger on the 10th fret, so you play that, then right next to it you play the 11th, then the 12th, then the 10th, then the 12th, then the 10th, then the 12th. So what that sounds like. Once you've done that, the next part is you play the 12th fret again, the 11th fret, the 10th fret, the 12th fret on the A string, and then the 10th fret twice, then the 12th fret again. So the whole thing, nice and slow. The whole thing put together, nice and slow to begin with. A little bit faster. Highly recommend using multiple fingers. So use your first finger, second finger, third finger. Then your first finger. Then so every 12th fret you would use your third finger. So let's do that. So basically, every time you see a 10th fret, use your 1st finger, 11th fret, 2nd finger, 12th fret, 3rd finger. That'll make it so much easier rather than you flying around. But that's it. Next song, Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven. If you don't like the song, it's so much fun to play. So highly recommend learning the riff and then check out the song. You'd be surprised. So coming in here with your 1st finger on the 3rd fret there. So you're going to play the 3rd fret. Then quickly go up to the 5th. So it starts off like this. That's the 1st bit. Then 1st finger back on the 3rd fret then back to the first fret. So go again. Then the next part, third and first. Excellent, so do it again. Next is you play the first fret again, and then up to the third fret and the sixth string. Once you play that, you play it twice, and a pause, and you play it again, and then twice, and a pause. So it sounds like this. So it's two very quick ones, and then a bit of a pause. Let's see the whole thing. Play it as power chords if you can. Add in some muted strikes, give it a little bit of rhythm. Add in some muted strikes, add a little bit of rhythm to it. Good job. One of my all time favorite Coldplay songs, Lost. Kidding, I like them all, I'm a huge fan. Anyway, jumping into Lost. So if you were playing it with one finger, you would come in here and have your first finger on the third fret of the second string. Now you can strum the open third string, the second string, and the first string open as well. So you get this sort of sound. 
then once you've done that, that's your first chord. So it's sort of playing an E minor seven. Then move your first finger back to the first fret. That's sort of getting some notes that are in the C chord. Then move your first finger up to the third fret on the first string. Again, three strings again. That's like your G chord, the bottom of the G chord. And then come up, and this is the tricky bit, you wanna move your first finger up to the second fret on the third string, and you actually wanna strum the fifth, the fourth, and the third. So you get this. Sounds almost like it. Here's the full chord. So here's E minor 7, C, G, D. Such a fun song. Well done, that's the end of this video. Did you have fun? Is there another song that you wanna learn that you want me to teach you? Leave a comment below. Hopefully you've been enjoying these videos. All the other links to the other videos are in the description. And if you want anything more, please let me know. I get messages every day on my Facebook channel, so you can certainly send me a message there. But that's it, I've been Pat from Pat Dave Music. And remember, the whole idea is to play these with one finger, then work your way to two to three, then play the bass line, play the power chords, then play the full chords, then play the bar chords. Just want to get everyone out playing there. Did you have fun? Any tips for other people? Leave a comment below. I'll see you all again. Bye.